Hi, the whole from Mariposa. So today we're going to talk about bugs, um, who's got them and who hasn't. And so far on this, uh, and we'd like to use a natural way to, to get rid of them every time. That would be our first choice and probably our only choice here. So I have identified that I do have some earwigs. They're loving the empomia, and um, you can tell that they love the empomia. There's little holes all through the leaves. And I um, know that earwigs come out at night, and they do eat debris, but they also eat um, the leaves. And the empomia is so sweet and nice. So I've made two little traps. Um, they do come out at night, so we'll check them tomorrow morning. I have a little tiny jar with some olive oil in it, and then I did an even more sophisticated one. I've cut some holes in the sides of a little container and put a lid on it, and I'm going to set these right into my plants, and we'll see what, see what we have um, tomorrow morning if we've caught any. The first thing you want to do is to identify what kind of bugs that you might have. Um, and so, actually, I, I found this little book at the Rock Creek store and I just love it. It's a lone pine bug, uh, book, a bug book. It's Garden Bugs of British Columbia and uh, Guarding to Attract and Repel and Control Bugs. So if you can, check this little book out. Lone Pine, it's a nice one. But anyway, we're going to just kind of go through a few basic bugs. So aphids, um, healthy, well-watered, well-fertilized plants can, they can withstand a little bit of aphids on them. They're not going to be too, too bothered by aphids but we don't seem to like them very much. So you can, you know, by eye, you, you notice the aphids and you want to get rid of them. Please, I beg you, don't use your grandma's recipe, two cigarette butts, some dish soap and some whatever else and leave it sit in the sun and then spray your plants. More damage gets done to the plants with that than that those aphids could possibly ever do. And then people a lot of times come back and say, oh, my plants, died because of the aphids. No, they died because you sprayed it with that stuff. So anyway, what we're going to do is aphids, there's a couple of types, but they hold on to the plant with a mouth part. And the best way to get rid of them is um, you take your garden hose and you spray the plant and wash them off. The body st uh, goes and the mouth part stays attached. So maybe even if they crawl back, they can't feed anymore. They have no mouth. Isn't that a nasty thing? But uh, so, and there's other things that like there's thrips, there's white flies, but we'll just we'll just stay with a few of those. And um, but just if you have to, you could use a safer soap if you know exactly. But find out what kind of bug is bugging you first. Like if you see ants on the plant, uh, it could be farming aphids. Um, but if you spray it really hard with some kind of you know insecticide. You really don't know, and they have all kinds of different configurations and chemical things that you, you probably don't want on your plants. So uh, another thing is you might see these big brown patches, and you're thinking it's a bug, but it's probably in this hot weather, and we've had extreme heat. And if you're watering in the daytime, and you get water on the surface of your plant, and the sun comes down and magnifies it, you can get big brown burn parts. But anyway, so tomorrow I'm going to check my aphid traps and I'll just post pictures on our Mariposa Facebook page so you can check it out there and see what the body count is. Um, but for the most part, keep your baskets hydrated and healthy and they can withstand, uh, you know, pretty much anything, uh, you know, a small population of, of aphids uh, and, and um, but just try to keep everything natural and move it along. And anyway, aren't these gorgeous? This is the Whopper begonia, and it is out in 30 plus heat, uh, full on sun, and it's just, just rocks. So anyway, I hope this helps, uh, and see you later. Bye from Mariposa.